Hi guys, this is Troy Mayo from Australian Guitar Channel. I've done a little video today uh, for the chordal progression of the song Take Me Back by Noiseworks, which was released from the very first Noiseworks album. Uh, it was written by John Stevens and Brent Thomas from the band. And uh, it's a pretty simple chord progression, not too much going on, but it's uh, just an Australian rock classic, this one. So I really want to do, do a video of it. All right, so take a look at the video. See you soon. Okay, so Take Me Back. Alright, what we do with this one is we start off with uh, that little, um, what we call it, that little synth intro where there's a guitar, Stuart Fraser, again, um, shout out for my Stuart Fraser interview I did a few years ago, may he rest in peace. The guitar starts out like this on the 7th and 9th frets with a little power chord, a little muted power chord like that. Alright, that's all it does. And then over the top of that, Stuart Fraser really famously did this uh, little harmonic going down the D string, starting on the 12th fret. All right, that's what you want to do. You want to play, play the D string as a harmonic, starting on the 12th fret, and then just slide your finger down across all the frets, and you'll get the different harmonics on the 9th, 7th, 5th, and 4th frets. Watch. Great little effect there. Okay, and then once that's all uh, played and done, we get into the actual song. All right, so the chords, you're gonna start with our E to A. And I'm just doing an E power chord there. You could also probably just do an E open chord. I'm gonna do it as an E power chord because that's what I'm hearing on the seventh fret. to an A, and then it has that little lick, alright? So from go E, Never expected to, be in your world. to A, and then, so we have ninth fret on the D and the G strings, and then after that you want to go down to the ninth and the 8th fret on the G string. G. And then we're going to go down to the 6th fret on the D and the G, G strings. And then we're going to go down to the 4th fret on the D and the G. So we have that. To the I guess the, the pre-chorus where we have an A chord. Something that I can explain. And there, what we're actually playing there is an E over G sharp chord. All right, so it's an E chord with a G sharp in the bass. I'll put a chord picture up for that. So it's something that I A to an E over G sharp to B. B, two, three, four, to, to a D, okay? All right, so that little pre-chorus again, A, E over G sharp, B, for two bars, back to A, E over G sharp, B, two, three, four, two, three, four, right, to a D for four beats, okay? That is your uh, your pre-chorus now onto the chorus of take me back take me back to you it's been a long time oh every night all right so just three chords e b a back to b again all right take me back to again and then back into another verse all right all right so that's the verse uh, intro verse and chorus the verse and chorus just repeats again just another verse and another chorus 
one little lick I've just remembered for the chorus goes like this. Went back to you, it's been a long time. All right, you're gonna do that a little bit in this song. It's just this. All right, you'll just play when you're playing your B. Just do a little. It's, we call it a B suspended, but you're gonna play the E on the ninth fret. All right, that little shape of the. Ninth fret on the D and the G, and the ninth and the eighth fret on the D and the G. Take me back to you. Take me back to you. I just have a little lick. Another little lick that I'm hearing in that chorus is just this. Take me back to you. Going from the 9th fret on the D, G and B strings to that F shape starting on the 9th. So we've got 9th, what have we got there? 9th, 8th and 7th on the uh, D, G and B strings. And then taking that shape down, sliding it down 2 frets, alright? into the guitar solo, which incidentally I've already done a video for. Um, Alright, so the chord string the solo, E to B, down to A, back to B again. Alright, that's all there is to it, just those three chords, alright, for the whole guitar solo. And then it just leads back into a chorus for the end. Take me back to you. As the tag at the end, it just goes take me back to you A to B, and again take me back A to B, and then a slow down or rallentando ending, rall a rall ending we call it. All right, and that's the whole song. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think and uh, comment. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing these videos. And I'm going to keep doing some more videos and push on and hopefully get some more subscribers. All right. Thanks. I'll see you soon.